Hey guys, Devoke here once again. It is time for a little vlog. I booked myself a four day getaway up into the mountains. I like to escape sometimes. My birthday is actually coming up tomorrow. Wait, is it tomorrow? It might be two days from now. Well, when this video releases, it will already have passed. So that's why I decided to give myself a little birthday present and get myself up here into the mountains. I don't think I'm gonna to film too much. I did kinda of wanna enjoy this time for myself, so I might just be filming some clips, random clips here and there, just to kinda of bring you guys along. Let me give you a little tour of the cabin here. It's, it's very cute. This is the living room. I really love this like wood style. Like really small, just the necessities on what you need. I did get my favorite whiskey, Maker's Mark. I'll be celebrating with myself with that. And then you just kind of walk through this little hallway. Here's the bathroom. You know, everything you need kind of in a bathroom. You got the master bedroom, which is pretty nice. A little door that goes out into the wilderness as well. Here's another bedroom where it's a, a twin. We got two beds, two small beds here. So it's, it is a two bedroom, which is kind of crazy. I could like sleep literally in a different bed every night. A moose lamp. Just chilling. Just chilling. I turned on the thermostat because I was pretty cold. I was expecting to hear like some sort of heater thing go off or I don't know. Maybe some sound, but you know what ended up turning on? The fireplace. I was just pretty amazed by that. I think that's very awesome. I'm gonna make some food. I think I'm gonna make like a pasta bacon tuna thing. I don't know, but we'll see how it goes. My brother gave me this like real thick cut bacon here. And I was gonna go ahead and use this, fry it up with maybe some tuna. And then some of the sauce kind of get like a little meaty fishy sauce and then I was gonna mix in the penny noodles. Noodles done. Yum. They look so happy when they get cooked. I don't know if noodles had feelings they'd be very happy. I'm about to cut this pork belly, this bacon, and it is so thick. Go ahead and put them just right into the pan here. Heat it up and then I'm gonna add some of this tuna just right up on it. Got a nice sizzle going on here with the very thick bacon. It's smelling super smoky and good. A very strong smoke smell. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the tuna now. Tuna, a little bit of bacon. I have no idea what I'm cooking, by the way. Just letting you guys know. I am just winging it right now. Just added in the sauce a la vodka. She looked fancy. It's like some sort of, what is it? Margarita sauce or oh wait not no margarita. I don't even know what type it's called like considered to be got some really good ingredients in here Vodka and basil. Oh my it smells really good though So I'm gonna go ahead and just mix all the fried ingredients up with this just kind of get this to a boil Let the sauce kind of build flavors with the with the tuna and the pork in here something super simple I don't know if it's gonna be good or not it looks pretty good it smells really good too actually. Let me see I've never tasted this before This is gonna be interesting Mmm. Oh yeah. yeah, that tastes pretty good. I can taste this really smoky pork flavor and the, the tuna flavor, so it's giving that sauce a really nice extra layer of savoriness, I feel like. Wow. That bacon is so smoky. Mm. I almost forgot. This is most important though. You gotta get the Cholula sauce. I'm gonna tell you, this bed is actually so comfortable. I could just sleep in here for longer. Breakfast time.
Wow, that is tasty. Got just some bacon and eggs. I love just when the eggs get so runny like that. And you just take your bacon and you just soft it right into the eggs. Mmm. It's just classic breakfast, I guess. Classic American breakfast right here. <laughs> Greeted with just a little bit of snow out here on the front porch as we make our way out. It's not too much though, you see? It's just a, just, just a little bit. It's like a teaser snow. This is the cabin from the outside view of what it looks like. So it's pretty cute. I'm about to go on a little hike. It's called Shadow Cliff overlook or shadow mountain overlook so this is supposed to be a 10 mile hike which um sounds pretty intense i think 10 miles is probably my max limit i can do in a day but i don't know if i can make it i'm gonna just give it a shot try if i need to turn around then i need to turn around but i want to really try to just see if i can do this hike i heard of course at the summit it's really beautiful but i don't know if we'll be able to see anything because it is pretty cloudy out it is supposed to snow today also so i'm kind of on a time limit hopefully i'm not in the middle of the hike and it starts pouring down snow that would be quite unfortunate but i'll be safe i'll make sure to use my good judgment or hopefully some sort of judgment out there um, and not take any unnecessary risks still got to be careful on the trails you know of course it's wild there's mother nature so you got to respect that you are a visitor in this area you don't own this place so we'll be careful play by ear but we're going to just enjoy ourselves i think it's going to be a beautiful hike it's going to be a beautiful day so let's do it check that out Oh, that is pretty. I'm excited for that. So this is here, and we're gonna loop up here around this lake for about one and a half miles. We're gonna hit some switchbacks here, and then that's gonna be about three and a half miles of switchbacks, if that, I'm reading that correctly. And then that little part's gonna get super intense at the end there, but uh, hopefully we make it up there and we can see some good views, but the trail starts right here. I am happy that it's like a really nice sun right now. But I know it's going to snow in probably about two or three hours. So we're going to check back on me in a good few hours or checkpoints. This is me looking somewhat fresh at the start of the hike. Let's see uh, how dead I am here pretty soon once we get into it. I don't think I did a 10 mile hike in a real long time. The last one I did was probably when I was doing my backpacking trip. The backpacking trip altogether was about 30 miles, but in one day we would do like 10 mile increments. So, it has been a while. Some really angry or excited ducks flying off in the distance over there. Still looping around this lake, which has been really beautiful. We'll be cutting into the mountains soon. The, the first little leg of this hike is to go around this lake. It's a powerful thing. Whoa! That was an eagle! I know there's eagle spottings around here. That wingspan was massive though. Pretty sure this one was an eagle. Let me see if I can spot it with my camera. No, I can't see it. Yeah, it couldn't have gone far though. That thing was big. Almost seemed like a, a pterodactyl. Oh, that, that might be an eagle up there actually. I think that's... Nope, nope, nope. Never mind. I think that was just a hawk. Holy smokes! Dude, I think a hummingbird almost just impaled my belly button, man. Well, if, uh, if this footage never gets found or makes it back, just know I probably have been gotten by a big bird. <laughs> some, or some sort of bird. It'd be embarrassing if I got gotten by a hummingbird, though. I mean, at least get, send an eagle after me. Oh, I think that's a bald eagle right there. Yeah, it's flying towards me. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, that is beautiful. They're hunting right now. I want to say that that was it. I got to double check the sign to make sure that bald eagles are around here. Finally made our turn away from the lake now. Not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little out of breath already. And I think I'm only like a fourth way done with the hike. Checkpoint. Got to a little fork or Y in the road. Finally hit our trailhead here. We had to hike a little bit to get to it. But the Shadow Mountain Lookout, that is what we wanted. So now we just go deeper into there and I think there's a few switchbacks that will just take us up this mountain here. There's a lot of fallen trees though on this trail. Like look at this one. Oh, this like incline requires me to kind of, I guess, vault over these trees or 
majestically climb over them because they're scattered throughout the pathway here. Whew. I'm I'm getting a little out of breath. This is kind of a an intense climb up. When I was making my way to try to climb over this tree, I was observing this branch here. Look at this. Uh, this almost looks like carvings of some sort, but I think this is just naturally how the tree kind of became. Still just incredible view of the lake, that shadow lake now, and I think we're climbing Shadow Mountain. About two hours in into the hike, the sun is now shining almost at full force. I hit a very interesting little roadblock here. I've been hitting a little of these throughout the trail. Just kind of a, a big log pile up across this path, which has been the theme throughout, I think. I've been kind of scaling these logs as I've been walking, but it adds another dimension of challenge to, uh, to hiking for sure. Kind of trying to place your foot in the right place while stepping over these bad boys oh. and yeah I've been appreciating it though never really um, had this sort of hike before where I kind of need to go around these trees so it's been good adds an extra layer of challenge here as you have to go off the beaten path just a bit been scaling over these trees all the way up and look at this massive tree that got derooted here oh my gosh it's so big. It makes me think that like, maybe the top got just really heavy and it toppled over and actually just like derooted itself, which is very impressive. It's been a pretty crazy hike up. As you can see, a lot more snow is appearing right now and it's pretty steep going up. But not only that is you're presented with these challenges here in the middle of your road. I think it's going to be pretty foggy when we hit the top because the snow is about to roll in soon, which will add another layer of challenge. But I'm looking forward to seeing the, the change up in the weather, see what it looks like and what the feels are because you'll never feel or experience the same thing, you know, as you're hiking. If it snows, if it rains, Sure, it's not ideal. You're not going to get like the best scenes, but you will experience something completely different from someone that hiked in it in very nice weather, obviously. <laughs> so I'm going to appreciate that experience for all that it's worth because I know not everyone gets to experience that. A lot of times when I'm presented with these trees here, I'll kind of just go back down to the base a little bit and go around it. If there's too much like scraggly pieces here, not really worth actually I see a little bare spot right here this is not bad yeah if I see like a little spot like this then I'll go ahead and climb over oh, oh so carefully without trying to impale myself on one of these jagged things but if it's you know if it's got too much frails and too many fingers poking out then I'll definitely hit the base of it and go around I think in total so far it's been about 4.3 miles just a reminder it's a five mile way hike up and then a five mile way hike down. So it's not a loop, unfortunately. It's a in and out. So you gotta go up and then you gotta come back. But yo, it's gonna be beautiful. This one's what I call you shall not pass tree. It's like really interesting to kind of view it as a puzzle that you kind of encountered in the wilderness because each roadblock will present different challenges and give you different variables. Like right here, I see an option where we can crawl under that and go around or we can scale it up and over i think i'll military crawl under this <laughs> to be honest oh i made it guys i made it to the summit look at that oh look at that oh. i'm here it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful that is worth it right there took me a bit to get here for sure that was that was a hike, pretty intense for me. I'm not the most in shape, so that was a good, a good struggle there. About five miles up, seeing this incredible view. I can see a storm already kind of, you know, coming in, but I think we just hit that really nice window where I can still get a spectacular view and still see that beautiful storm already coming in. So it's not exactly completely clear, but it is, we're kind of getting hit with this fog line now. I really love seeing that, that fog and the clouds just kind of hitting those mountain tops. It just makes the mountains look so much bigger. Our lake that we walked around was that one right there. I was walking around just that path bank 
along that side. I think probably more towards that area. Look, I got visited by another chipmunk. Every hike, I'm telling you guys, these little chipmunks come up here and they just get so close because they think they know that people up at the summit have food. So they just got super curious and he's just coming up right to me actually. Oh my goodness. Brave little fella. Sorry guy, I don't have anything for you. I don't have any food. No food. On my way down from the summit here, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is snowing. I will still have about maybe an hour to two hours left of hiking, especially with all these trees still in the way. It makes it a little bit slower. Look at all this snow, man. This is magical. In the end of May, snowing while I'm enjoying a summer hike. I could not have asked for anything better than this. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. All right, I got about an hour left. I'm starting to feel pretty tired, but I can do this. Let's go. I just check at the end of the hike. I filmed actually right here when we started and I feel, I feel pretty dead right now. Good hike overall though. Really good hike. Oh my gosh, I made it. I made it back to the trailhead, son. That was insane. Oh, we're here. Oh my goodness. Stopped by the uh, grocery store and picked up all the junk food that I could get. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just going to have myself a little party here. Yum. We got to stop waking up like this with each other. Dude, I'm so sore from, from hiking yesterday. I just finished my birthday breakfast. Wanted to chill outside while enjoying some hot coffee and Cholula sauce. These are like actually these nuts. That's wow, we're about to eat nuts. It's time to say goodbye to the cabin. Goodbye, cabin. You've been so much fun. Thank you. Thank you for everything.